Okay, people. So I, I before I get this video started, uh, I, I have a, I have a video calendar where I post when I'm gonna do my videos, and I posted that I would do this video last week, but I forgot to upload it, and I apologize. I say that video calendar is like 98% accurate. I mean, every once in a while I'll fuck up. I'm not perfect, so I I apologize. But I mean that video calendar that I have up there, you can see what I'm when I'm gonna do my videos. I I post them at least a day in advance, sometimes even a week or two. So um always be looking on there and again you could just go on the home page. You gotta be on a PC or you gotta be on Safari. Go on go on to my home page and there's a link uh, there's a link in the upper right hand corner that, that says video schedule. You can click on that or on my profile video on, on the front page of my YouTube account I have a video where I inter where I'm introducing my uh, my new uh, my new calendar and I have a link in the, in the description of that video to it so anyway let me get started here um, and this is really in no particular order I just fucking thought of this off the top of my head I mean I'm not I don't really watch sports that often but I'm familiar with sports teams and shit so let's get this shit started number 10 the Red Wings um, I am from Michigan, so I genuinely I, I root for the Red Wings, uh, and, and they're, they're a good hockey team. I mean, they made the fucking playoffs like 21 straight years in a row or 22, something like, something crazy like that. But their name is retarded. It's fucking the Red Wings. What the fuck is a Red Wing? I mean, come on. And they have like a, a fucking tire in their little logo, I believe, because that's the fucking, you know, where the Motor City supposedly, even though our country's in fucking bankruptcy. Our cities, you know, filed for bankruptcy. But anyway, like, why is there a fucking tire sketch inside the Red Wing? I mean, it's retarded. It's a fucking retarded little name there. Number nine, the 49ers and the 69ers. The 49ers is stupid. Why name yourself after a number? I don't get it. And the 69ers is even more stupid because you're not, not only named after a number, you're named after a motherfucking sex position. Number eight, the Pelicans. I get that there's fucking pelicans in New Orleans or down south. I know they're in Florida. I'm not sure if they're in New Orleans or whatever. But why name your team the pelicans? I mean, it's a shitty bird. Uh, it's, a, it's not really a shitty bird. I, I mean, I guess it's cool, but it's not like a tough thing or a tough animal. Number seven, the jazz. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link seven and six together because I put six as the blues. Like, why name your team after music? I mean, I get that. Yeah, maybe jazz is, and blues are famous there. I believe St. Louis is named after music blues, but why name yourself after a genre of music? I mean, it's just retarded. Number five, I put these together, the White Sox and the Red Sox. <laughs> Again, why name yourself after a, a fucking sock color? I mean, it's retarded. Name yourself after a tough animal or something that sounds cool, like fire, thunder, lion, tiger, something like that. Number four, the... I did, I did include college sports, the Syracuse Orange. Again, just naming your team a color. I mean, come on, I think we could get a little bit more creative than that. Number three, the Anaheim Ducks, and also I believe the Oregon Ducks are Ducks too, um, from college. Just, again, why name yourself a duck? I mean, ducks are one of the most docile creatures I've seen. I actually have had a pet duck, and it's actually really cool yeah. You buy it in the spring, you teach it how to fly, you teach it how to eat, you basically raise it from birth. You know, you even, I even got the eggs and then they hatched and then, you know, you raise them from birth. I had one year, I, I think two years I had one and then another year I had two. It's really cool, or I don't know, something like that, but I've done it a few years. You raise them from birth, you feed them fish and shit, it's really cool. And then you let them go in the fall and sometimes you can come back to the spot, you let them go in the fall and come back next spring and they'll actually come up to you. It's really cool. So anyway, again, duck, one of the most docile creatures. Why name yourself after a duck? Number two, the Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawk isn't even a fucking animal. At least name yourself a a after something that's real. And if you're going to name yourself after a f fictitious character, at least make it sound badass. A Seahawk doesn't sound badass. It, it sounds like a bird that's that flies around the sea. Like a fucking, what's the bird called? The uh, seagull. That's what it makes. That, that's what it reminds me of. And seagulls aren't tough. They're annoying as fuck because they always try to steal your motherfucking food at the beach. And number one, again, this is in no particular order. I just kind of thought of this off the top of my head. The Oklahoma Sooners. What the fuck is a Sooner? 
you know, uh, you know, oh, I'm gonna name myself the Oklahoma Laters. I mean, w what the fuck did they come up with the name Sooner? W w what's a Sooner? Doesn't make any sense. And if it's some sophisticated definition, then let me know. Or they they shouldn't even have named it something that you have to fucking take a dictionary, take it out of Webster's dictionary to look up the word. I mean, make it simple. You know, just don't don't name it fucking uh, Sooner. And then there's this big controversy. I kind of want to touch on this for a little bit too. Uh, not not too long, but like a minute or two. You know, there's a big controversy over the the Washington Redskin name. You know, apparently it's it's racist to uh, Indians or Native Americans. I don't even know if it is or not. I mean, I've heard some say it's not. Some say it is. I think overall, in the big picture, it's a little petty issue that's being used to distract us from the real issues. I mean, it's like if a football team came out or a sports team came out and called themselves the N-word, I mean, I'm sure there would be a lot of black people upset with it, but I'm sure a lot of black people would think it was funny, too, and not be offended by it. So I think it's just a little petty issue. I mean, I mean, should we maybe petition Dan Schneider, the owner, to change it to a different name? Maybe. But, I mean, it's not that big a deal, people, in the real, in, in the whole perspective of, I mean, technically, it does have a First Amendment, so legally we can't get him to change it. But, I mean, if you want to petition him to change it, I mean, that's your First Amendment rights to do so. But, I mean, there's much bigger issues in the world than the Washington Redskins. So, or the name of the Washington Redskins. There's actually much bigger uh, things in the world than sports. You know, I'm not a big watcher of sports. I mean, if my home team's in the playoffs, maybe I'll turn it on. Or if it's a big game, or if, or if it's in the background, maybe I'll watch a little bit. But, I mean, sports is not a big deal to me. And as priorities go, sports are probably on the lower side of the, of the spectrum.